Job applications are now available in the College and Career Center. AP Government and Avid 11 students experienced a real-life court case this week in the Patty Baker Theater. All this and more on all new Tiger Cast News, Friday, October 2nd, 2015. From Eye of the Tiger, this is Tiger Cast News. Broadcasting from Studio 403 in Roseville High School. Good morning and welcome to an all new Tiger Cast News. I'm Corey Karstens. And I'm Alex Gonzalez. This week, the 3rd District Court of Appeal came to RHS and held an actual court case in the Patty Baker Theater. The court cases held here were planned by an outreach program to give high school students an idea on what goes on inside of a court case and also helps to give special insight on how our government works. It's called an outreach program and our court uh, tries to visit high schools that are located within the geographic area of our jurisdiction. So there are 23 counties that are part of the third appellate district. The appellate court isn't a normal court where people are tried and convicted. Instead, they review past court cases to ensure that they were done correctly. Usually one side or the other thinks that the trial judge or the jury or the attorneys did something wrong and there was a legal error. And we will look at the, all the paper records in that case, listen to the arguments of the lawyers, and make a decision whether there was an error or not. Government and AVID students watched the court cases in order to get an idea on how our legal system works. They then got a chance to talk to the attorneys and justices over lunch. A lot of different schools came from around the district to watch the court case held today at Roseville. It was a court case on energy problem about fires, and then there's another one about a murder and arson case. This is the first time this has ever happened here at RHS. The College and Career Center now has job applications available for students. Mrs. Satter has begun to help students build their resume. She has a few downloadable applications and information on many jobs within a 20 mile radius of the school. First and foremost, um, I handle all of the work permits once you do receive a job. Um, secondly, um, as far as job advertising goes, I'm a great resource for um, online applications. I get a lot of businesses that are starting to send in um, their information and deadlines of when they're hiring. Right now it's a great time to look at seasonal help. A lot of jobs are hiring for the winter, Christmas, and holiday season. Mrs. Satter is looking forward to help students with the new applications. After meeting all the requirements, Senior James Province recently received a new rank, Eagle Scout. To reach this, James Province had to do a project that helps benefit the community. Uh, so my project was um, building a buddy bench for Caseburg Elementary School. And basically what that is, is um, like a place for like a kid if he wants to make some friends. He can go sit on this bench and that kind of tells other kids that he wants to go make friends. And so um, like by sitting on the bench, other people just kind of help lonely kids around at Caseburg. Province does not participate in Boy Scouts just to meet the goal of being an Eagle Scout. I really like the outdoor aspect of scouting, like everything with the outdoors, like uh, backpacking, climbing, um, camping, everything with that is what I really enjoy about it. Province is one of 6% of all Boy Scouts to ever have this honor of being named an Eagle Scout. Definitely the merit badges. A lot of people think that it's the Eagle Project that's the hardest part, but it's definitely all the merit badges and everything you have to do for that. It's a lot of work. It's really awesome to see someone in Roseville High School to earn the Eagle Scout badge. We now go over to Keegan Ness with sports. Thanks, Alex. The girls' water polo team last year struggled to gain a real foothold during any part of the season and ended with an overall record of 0-16 and a league record of 0-5. However, with the addition of new coaches and new players, headed by star talent Lauren Spinner, the girls' water polo team has vastly improved and as of Wednesday afternoon, they have a record of 2-2 two two in league and are fighting for a playoff spot. We go to Ben Walker with the story. The girls' water polo team needed a change in their program to make up for a tough last season. This change came in the form of head coach Paul Stewart. After being away from water polo for six years, he was very prepared to step back into the coaching role and was excited with the talent he had. Well, we do have some key returners. We've got a couple of seniors that are starting. Um, Lacey, who's my whole defender, and she doesn't get a lot of props because of her scoring, but she defends. And Hannah Smith is my goalkeeper, and so those are some key returners. And then we've got about five competitive 
freshmen and sophomore swimmers on varsity and that's great because now we can swim up and down the pool with everybody. With the addition of new players, veteran leadership is heavily needed. Leading the way is junior Lauren Schmittner. She has been a top player so far this season and her success is partially due to her new position on the team. This year playing set, um, it's one of the positions that's really specific in the game. You have to have a specific skill set and it's something where you have to put a lot of work into doing the position correctly and being able to work well in that position. And so Stu and I have worked a lot on my skill set and improving me in that position. And last year I played a little bit as a set, but this year you know everything kind of clicked into place and I've been doing pretty well, I think. Schmittner has accounted for 58 plus goals this season, which is half of all of Roseville's goals. The next closest player on the team has 20 goals. Schmittner may have not expected this level of production from herself, but head coach Paul Stewart did. I met Lauren in the summer and I didn't know what the team was going to look like and it was nice to see her in the pool and I'm like, oh wow, there's somebody you can build a team around. And so um, I don't think she saw that in herself. I told her, I go, you should be scoring 50 to 100 goals this year. And her eyes lit up. She's like, what? Make sure to go watch them next Friday against Bear River. RHS junior Kayla Kwong got a hole-in-one this Monday in a CVC tournament at Bartley Kevna. She shared what her emotions were after such a great feat. Well, I actually didn't see my hole-in-one. After I hit it, I thought it was in the water. So I looked away and everyone told me that it went in. So I was really surprised and really happy about that. Now we go to Austin Collins for entertainment. Thanks, Keegan. It's that time of year again. The leaves are changing, the weather's getting colder, and Uggs are becoming socially acceptable again. It's also the time for new TV show debuts, as well as returning shows. Gotham returns for its second season this fall on Fox. Imagine a Batman show without Batman. All jokes aside, it's interesting to see the dynamic of Gotham City before the time of the Dark Knight. Quantico debuted on ABC. The drama follows an FBI recruit suspected of committing a terrorist crime in a fresh take on the classic Who Done It. The Muppets premiered on ABC on the 22nd. The show takes the style of a mockumentary complete with a more adult tone that pushes the iconic childhood characters to a more adult crowd. Last but not least, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. started its third season this Tuesday and is off to a great start with a new villain and the return of the iconic characters we've grown to love through the entirety of this smart tie-in to the beloved Marvel Cinematic Universe. We now go to Josh Carson for a review of NBA 2K16. Thanks, Austin. NBA 2K16 was available to those who pre-ordered last Friday and officially hit the shelves this past Tuesday. NBA 2K16 features the smoothest basketball gameplay yet, and the added body scans make players look even more realistic. NBA 2K's most popular mode, My Career, is directed by Spike Lee, who introduces a new storyline, Living a Dream. This year, you start your story as a high school phenom, playing college and ultimately the NBA. This storyline is unlike any other ever seen before in an NBA 2K game, focusing on the trials and tribulations of life on a big stage and a strong family story. The story does end after your rookie season in the NBA, which is a measly 8 games, but 2K makes up for this with the addition of off days in Season 2. 2K16 also features the new Pro-Am mode, which brings a more authentic feel. If you're a basketball fan, NBA 2K16 is a must-get, and for all of these reasons, I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Thanks, Josh. We now go back to Alex for more news. Thanks, Austin. Junior Jordan Eaton has a special knack for creating breathtaking art. Junior Jordan Eaton was inspired to do art at a young age by her family. My dad was an artist, so he taught me how to when I was young. Since I was like four, but I just started painting a couple years ago, and I've just been going off my imagination. Jordan expresses her creativity through her artwork. Um, normally I have like a human, normally a female, and the background's like like surrealism, which is the subject, is a person, but the background is like a face or something that you wouldn't see in real life. Jordan hopes she can continue to make her art in the future. I would like to have art as my career, but it just depends on how much money I can make out of it because I don't want to be a starving artist. But if I can do something in like graphic design or like for Disney, that would be cool. Jordan looks forward to expanding her creativity with a professional career in art. Last Monday, RHS held senior advising seminars to help prepare students for life after school. 
Students could choose to attend seminars that range from military opportunities and careers training to preparation for community college and UC or private schools. I learned that out of state is way more expensive than it should be and that Sierra College is pretty cheap, dude, like 200 a year. To learn more about your education outside of RHS, visit your counselor. That's it for us today at TigerCast News. And remember, we're always on iTheTigerNews.com. See you next time.